Welcome to 5 Minute Dungeon. In this game, you'll join forces with your friends to fight your way through five dungeons, each filled with deadly obstacles and dangerous monsters. To begin your adventure, select which hero you want to play, and place that hero mat in front of you, face up. Grab the deck that's the same color as your hero mat, shuffle it, and place it on the draw pile. Draw a starting hand from your deck. The number of cards you draw depends on how many people are playing. To prepare the dungeon, take the boss mat for the dungeon you're attempting, and place it in the center of the table. To form the dungeon, you combine the number of door cards, as indicated on the bottom of the boss mat, two challenge cards per player, shuffle them together, and place on top of the boss mat so that it hides the symbols. Each round will only be played in five minutes. So for this, we've created a five minute dungeon timer app that you can download for Android and iOS. There are three ways to deal with most things in the dungeon. You could defeat a door card by playing resource cards to the center of the table until all of the symbols are matched. They don't have to all come from the same player either. Then, sweep away the cards. Door cards can also be defeated with action cards. Like resource cards, action cards are swept away when used and not placed in your discard pile. Fireball is a great example of an action card because it can be used to instantly defeat a monster. Each hero has a special ability that they can use to help the team. The ability for each hero is shown on the bottom of their hero mat. To use the ability, discard three cards face up to your discard pile. Anytime you play or discard a card, you want to refill your hand back to its starting size. If you defeat all the door cards, challenge cards, and the baby barbarian, you've conquered the first dungeon. Congratulations! Your adventure's not over yet, though. You have to fight your way through four more dungeons, and ultimately, the dungeon master, to win the game. If you want to mix it up a bit, you can add or remove players in between rounds, or change what hero you're playing. If time runs out before you and your party defeat the dungeon boss, You've lost that round, and you'll have to start all the way back at the Baby Barbarian. Door cards represent a challenge that your party must overcome. Each will have a number of symbols, which can be swords, arrows, scrolls, jumps, or shields. Your party can defeat a door card by playing all the resource cards that match these symbols. Door cards also have a type, which can be monster, obstacle, or person. Some special cards and abilities allow you to defeat a card without having to match the symbol on the card. In addition to door cards, there are challenge cards. They have a horned skull on the back of the card and come in two varieties. Mini bosses are extra tough creatures that require more symbols to defeat than a normal door card. Events are special cards that require the team to do a specific action. Whenever you flip over an event card, you must immediately do whatever the card says. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully this helped you learn how to play 5-Minute Dungeon.